Okay, question 5 guys. So, two forces F1 and F2 act on particle A. Now, you can see that F1 is written as a vector and so is F2. Okay? Now, given that the resultant of F1 and F2 is parallel to I plus 2J, show that we can prove this equation, or at least form it. Alright, so how to do this and how to get to the result. So, first things first, the resultant F1 F2. All this means is that you need to add up the, the, ve the forces F1 F2, so add up the vectors. So let's just call it F to make it easy. We can say now that um, 2i minus 3j plus pi plus qj is going to be, well, in terms of i's, 2 plus p would be 2 plus pi. And the j vectors would be minus 3 plus qb minus 3 plus qj. Easy. And now we know that this F is parallel to this vector. Now first things first, let's just have a sketch of i plus 2j, see what it looks like. So this essentially means one unit to the right and two units up. So this is literally the vector i plus 2j. So we can write it here. We know that this is parallel to, to the force f. So this is parallel to the same vector f. We don't, but the, the one thing to note, with parallel vectors, they don't necessarily have to be the same size. All you have to be focused on is that they need to be moving in the same direction. So essentially, we could say that f is probably some scale factor of i plus 2j, probably bigger or smaller. So it's just some multiple. Now, to write this as an equation, you can literally write this. You could say that f then is some scale factor of i plus 2j. And we usually replace the, this alpha sign with an equals k because k is used as scale factor. So you can say that the force f is equal to some scale factor of i plus 2j. And now we're almost done. All we need to do now is firstly work in i's and i's and j's. So to do this quickly, we can say in terms of i's that the that the two plus p vector is essentially equal to some scale factor of one because we've got one j here and two j. As for j, we can say that the vector minus three plus q under the under the j part is equal to some scale factor of two j times two. And guys, we're almost done. Now, all you have to do here is literally solve this simultaneously, or at least um, eliminate k simultaneously. And when you do that, you'll actually get the result here. So, quick way to do this, we can just rub this out quickly. We can say k1 and k2 is just k and 2k respectively. So, I'm going to put update here, so 1k and 2k. Now, all you have to do is simply just multiply the top equation by 2, like this. Equate them, and boom, we're going to end up getting this result. So I'm going to do it fast here. So if we equate both equations, we're going to have 2 times 2 plus p equals uh, minus 3 plus q. Expanding the bracket, 4 plus 2p. And eventually, just um, solving this or tidying up, you're going to get that result. And we're done. You're going to get exactly what you're looking for. And that's it, guys. That's literally all you do. So summarize, just always um, find the scale factors. And when you do that, eliminate k and you've got it.